We are standing in the hallway of our 1970s mobile home and we are in the middle of a huge full home renovation. Today we're going to be working on this hallway, specifically tiling the floor. We actually started this because we did our bathroom already. The bathroom is going to run out into the hallway. We're using the same um, kind of full marble look tiles. This is a porcelain tile. So our bedrooms are back here and the bathroom is where I'm standing and we need to be able to walk through here and like get to the kitchen and stuff. So we plan on finishing these two rows all the way. All the way to the back. And then probably tomorrow or whatever, then we'll finish up and do the last row and that way we'll have a like a little aisle we can walk through. As long as we maintain a walking path to get in and out of the bedrooms we'll be fine. So the goal today is just these two rows of tile straight back into the closet and I don't know how far forward we're going to go, we're just going to see how it feels. Yep, hopefully we can go to the end of the hallway. We're going to be using Ditra again in our hallway. We really love Ditra. It's so much easier and faster than using the typical like cement board underlayment. Most of you guys have seen Ditra. It's becoming really popular, but it's just a plastic waffle uh, underlayment that adheres to the floor with thin set, thin set mortar. It allows the tile to be independent of the wood so that they don't move and crack and all that stuff. So. First, I'm just going to be taking our Ditra and cutting it to size, getting my pieces laid out, and then we'll pull them out of the way and get the mortar down. This is coming along well. I got these pieces cut. Now I'm getting into this washing machine nook, and I guess I'm going to have to pull the washing machine out of the way. So I really want to just span the Ditra straight in there. So I got to figure out how kind of where much. that'll be. Yeah. Let me get my tape measure. Speaking of tape measure, do you guys see this? I got this new tool organizer. I picked this up the other day from Home Depot. And I'm just tired of my tools being all over the place. So I said, let me try one of those bucket organizers. I've looked at these for years years and years. Never had one. Bought it. Threw all the tools that I use in here pretty regularly inside. And other than being heavy, so far so good. It's organized. The less tools on the floor, the better. I'm trying to become more organized in life. All aspects of life. Yeah. That's not a big deal, they just patch this little section. You wanna hold this up? This side to get a line. You wanna hold that up, Maverick? Yeah. Hold it. Mm -hmm. No, up here. This piece. Hold it. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Look at him piecing that spot in. You fixing it for me? Ashley brought up a kind of a good question. She was wondering about rolling the Dietra down the hallway the long way instead of cutting all these short pieces. The reason I'm doing it sideways instead of just rolling it down the hallway is because the Dietra is wider than our hallway. And I would have to cut off like this much of the whole roll all the way down the hallway. And there would just be a lot of waste. And then with the doors alternating like this, like you couldn't get it to go in both sides. Like you could oh, yeah. get it to go on one side, piece the other. I just feel like this way I can go into the doorways from edge to edge, get a nice clean thing. With less waste, I'm, I'm making very little waste. So just trying to be efficient in my use. Now just because we have DIY in our name doesn't mean we're necessarily a DIY channel. We're not really showing you how to do stuff. We're really showing you real life. 
There's a lot of channels out there that just show you how things are done. We're not a DIY channel, we're a DIY family. And we just live our lives very hands-on, do everything we can ourselves because we want to get ahead and this saves money, it teaches us new skills, and you just know you're doing it the best you can. There's a sense of accomplishment when you DIY. So. <laughs> He's excited about the floor. We just have fun, we live, we try to get ahead, and that's all we're doing is trying to build a better life for ourselves. Yep. Look at him, he knows what to do. Yep. He's so smart. He's helpful. It's easier for me to fold than the I could have just went straight. It's not a big deal. I'll just cut it off straight because it's tight in the corner anyway. <laughs> it doesn't have to go right up to the wall. Look <laughs> what he's doing. So we're done laying out the Dietra and it is looking awesome. And I'm so happy that we're finally working on this hallway. So I'm just putting masking tape on our plywood seam. Wow. <laughs> just to help keep the mortar out of it. Because we don't want to lose our expansion joints and the plywood. Because the plywood has to be able to move. And if they get full of mortar, they're... Then there's no expansion joint anymore. Yeah. Bill, what do you have? Three eggs that I got from the chicken coop. Cool. It's probably close enough. So now we just gotta let this sit for five minutes and then stir it again. I know some of you guys are gonna ask about Maverick's bedroom and why we aren't working on his bedroom. We are working on this bedroom, behind the scenes, getting it done. So don't worry, this isn't taking away our time from that. This is just another project that we wanted to get done as well. Right now we're just going through the slow job of papering his walls and painting and all that stuff. So we don't have a whole lot of update, but we did make a little progress. Just wanted to give you guys a project update. We're in Maverick's bedroom and check out the closet, fully papered along with the walls, edges, everything done. We got more paper done tonight. We got this wall done right here, around this window, up over the window, and crawling up onto the ceiling. It's actually going pretty quickly. A little each day, but we'll get it done soon. All right, I'm in the washing machine nook, the laundry area, and we have the mortar mixed. We're ready to lay it, and I totally just remembered, Ashley and I were talking about something, that I forgot to put this in. This is gonna be a floor drain underneath the washing machine for emergencies. So if the washing machine ever leaked, if the water was spilling out, we're not gonna have a flooded house. Um, I totally forgot about this before I got mixed in the mortar. I think I'm gonna try to put it in really fast and I'm gonna be a little bit rushed because that really has to be used. But yeah, it's basically gonna go right here underneath the washing machine somewhere. So all I have to do is cut a hole in the floor and hopefully screw it down and that'll be good enough for now. Let's just say, we put it back here, it's about 12 inches. I'm trying to center it kind of between this, the ceiling joists and the ceiling, which I can see where they are, because I know the floor joists are kind of lined up with those. Wow. So this way it shouldn't hit a floor joist. So it looks like it's about six inches. Do we have anything that's Circular, six inches. Rice. And I'm hoping... That we don't hit a joist. Yeah. And there's no metal there, right? No, there won't be any metal here. Okay. Oh, cutting a big six inch hole into our floor. <laughs>
I'm going to turn my blade around out the top so I can see it. Skimming the right on the edge. The joist. I felt like I was hitting something. Here, let's show it. So that's how close it was to a joist. Yeah, we made it right through though. And this tapers down so much that it's okay. Like I'll have plenty of room to work on it. That's actually pretty good. I just ran this little bit to uh, chamfer, I don't know what it's called, but to taper the holes because you can see on the back of this they sticked out a little bit. Mm. So now this kind of locks right in there flat on the floor. And again, well not again, but let me just say that this might not be, we're not doing it to show you guys how to do it because this might not be the best way to do it. This is just the best day, way that we found to do it with our house because we really didn't want one of those plastic pans underneath the washing machine. Um, we just didn't want to deal with that so we just wanted a more permanent solution. Fine. I'll just take this right out. Okay, we're ready. We are ready now to finally get the mortar done, so let's start doing that. I'm gonna just put a bunch in there and we'll just start. We got a small piece back here first. This is actually a little bit wet. Um, I don't exactly know where I need it because I don't have the other piece in here yet. I say get the next piece in and then smooth them both smooth out. Them both. Okay. Kind of working backwards from what we should have been. We should have been working from the sheet we already had down. From this existing sheet. Yeah. This way. Don't you feel like that would have been, you know. Yeah. Smart. And you can lift it up to see. They suggest actually checking, like for example, like this, to see if you're getting even coverage. You can nice. see mine is totally even. Yeah. Now that we got that done, and it's looking pretty good, I'm gonna start working this way, and this is gonna go a lot easier because I'm gonna do it in order. One piece at a time.
I just got another sheet down. I had to mix up some more mortar because we ran out, so I'm using a different type. This one's a lighter color. But I only got one more sheet to do, and then we'll be done with this part, so it's going okay. Well guys, I had a goal today to get the Dietra down and two rows of tile done as like a path down the hallway. Well, to leave a path down the hallway. We got the Dietra down. Yeah. We got half the goal accomplished, so I'm gonna stop here. This just took a lot more time than I anticipated and we're being scatterbrained. We kept forgetting stuff. Mm -hmm. We forgot to tape one of our... Expansion joints. Yep, and we forgot to put our drain in under the washing machine and you know, things like that. Anyway. Um, we got a lot of other jobs going on, so we have plenty of other things to do. We still have work in Maverick's room right here. We'll probably we... do more papering tonight. Tonight. So yeah, we just want to save time. And we feel like as slow as this went, if we started doing the tile, we'd probably be doing it all night. But at least we did get this done, and it looks really awesome. So that's another big job done. And we did get that floor drain in, which I've been kind of putting off for a long time because the washing machine was there. I actually worked really well under pressure because I'm very slow when I don't have pressure. So like I would have sat yeah. there being like, well, how, where should it be? And should it be 12 inches away? Should it be 16 inches away? Overthinking it, and over planning it. Yeah, I plan way too much. And I would have measured for like an hour trying to figure out where it should be. But I, doing it this way, you do it in like five minutes. I really loved just being, loved being forced to just cut a hole in the floor and throw it in. And it was like, yes, it's done. So I got to practice that more. I got to practice just being spontaneous and just doing it. Just doing the job and not thinking, thinking, yeah. thinking. So when we do the tile, we'll show you our plans for this area. But um, I do plan on putting like a lip, uh, like a ledge for the, to hold water in if there was ever a leak. So it's going to be kind of like a pan. And I just want to mention this while, while we're here, because I know it'll come up that we put a floor drain in and we're not sloping the floor. We're not properly water sealing the floor. And some people might be concerned about, about that, but we're not building a shower. So it doesn't have to be perfect and watertight and sloped. This is an emergency use only drain. We hope it never gets used. Yeah. Dietra is waterproof. There are a couple of couple of seams in it that won't be technically waterproof unless we put a curdy strip over them. This is actually going to be good enough to, to just protect the house in case of a, a flooding emergency. I mean, I picture most houses don't even have anything yeah. under their washer at all. So. Exactly. Or they have a plastic pan that's probably cracked and <laughs> doesn't yeah. hold water anyway. So we're basically just doing this so it's safe and it has some sort of protection that hopefully never gets used, but if it does, even if a tiny bit of water gets through the grout and through the seam, it's gonna be so minor that it would never cause any problems. We got the Dietra down. We really love using Dietra. I used backer board, cement backer board, one time in my past, well, in one house, I should say, multiple times in one house. I did it wrong, first of all, because I didn't know what I was doing. But second of all, I hated doing it. I mean, it was just, it's harder to cut. It's heavy. You gotta screw it down. You gotta put mortar, all that stuff. Uh, this stuff just makes your job so much easier. I think it's worth the extra money yeah. to go with Dietra. And a little fun fact is it's made in Canada. <laughs> yeah. Well guys, I guess we're gonna end it here. We appreciate you watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.